Welcome back again to another episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Uh, today's benchmark, 9.2, using inverse trigonometric functions. Uh, it asks us to find the angles, uh, which are between 0 and 2 pi, with a given ratio without the use of a calculator, so no calculator again. Uh, I have over here my special triangles and my coordinate system. Uh, all students take calculus, showing me positive values my uh, quadrant angles uh, listed and uh, here we go first question asks uh, uh, sine <coughs> excuse me sine of theta is negative square root 3 over 2 uh, sine is um, uh, negative first off in quadrants uh, 3 and quadrant 4 Okay, because all all are positive in quadrant one, and sine is positive in quadrant two. So sine is negative in quadrants three and four. So the first thing uh, we did was uh, determine what quad quadrants we're in. Next thing we're going to do is find our reference angle. Uh, I'll just call that uh, theta prime. Get that reference angle. So I'm going to come to my special triangles. Uh, square root three over two. Uh, so which angle has an opposite? Uh, over hypotenuse, square root 3 over 2. Uh, here's the square root 3 and here's the 2 and it looks like 60 degrees is my opposite over uh, over hypotenuse square root 3 over 2. And so my reference angle is 60 degrees or pi over 3. Uh, that's quadrant 1 though and that's positive. I want quadrants 3 and 4. So I'm going to count around uh, and getting uh, to where I sim uh, can't simplify. Uh, pi over 3 is here. 2 pi over 3 is in quadrant 2. 3 pi over 3 simplifies to pi. 4 pi over 3 is here. So there's my first angle. 4 pi over 3. And 5 pi over 3 is my next angle. 5 pi over 3. And then I get to uh, 6 pi over 3, which simplifies to 2 pi. So uh, it appears that my two answers are 4 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Next problem is cotangent of theta equals square root of 3. Now a note uh, for the handout, I had 2 and that was just a mistake on my part. It should be square root of 3, so I changed to that. Uh, now cotangent is uh, the reciprocal of tangent. So tangent of theta is 1 over square root of 3. So I'm looking for something that has the opposite of 1 and the adjacent is square root 3. Uh, that's my 30, 60, 90 triangle again. So I'm going to find my reference angle theta. And uh, uh, opposite x and x square root 3 for adjacent, that's my 30 degrees. So 30 degrees or pi over 6 in radians. Uh, pi over 6 in radians is uh, quadrant 1, and cotangent and tangent, they are positive in quadrants 1, and uh, quadrants 1, and in quadrant uh, 3. And so uh, here we have um, finding our, we've got a reference angle of pi over 6, so uh, our first angle is in fact pi over 6. Uh, 2 pi over 6 and 3 and 4 and 5 uh, pi over 6 uh, can't be simplified so 5 pi over 6 would be quadrant 2. Uh, 6 pi over 6 simplifies. 7 pi over 6 does not so that's my next one. 7 pi over 6 and that's my next answer. So my two answers are pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. And I can pull up my calculator just to uh, double check. Um, I'm going to say that, uh, I'll clear this. Um, switch first to radian mode. And I'm going to say the tangent of oops, um, pi divided by, oops, divided by, 6 equals, oops, that should be positive, 
and hit uh, tangent, and I get 0.57, and then I need to hit the reciprocal, and it gives me 1.73. Now, uh, if I did this correctly, um, square root of one point, uh, square root of three should be 1.73. So I'll hit three and square root, and I get 1.73. So there's my check to show that I did do these correctly. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time.